High fat food can change the facts of life. Eating a diet high in saturated fats raises cholesterol levels, but now a new study shows that it also lowers men's sperm count. CW33's Barry Carpenter shows us how saturated fat can have a devastating impact on male fertility. That's a really good question. I don't know. Michael Ashenfelter and his wife Tiffany have tried to get pregnant for nearly two years now. After clearing Tiffany, doctors focused on Michael, who, like many young men, had eaten a lot of fast and fatty foods. Oh, well, life was convenient, you know, going through college and then grad school um, and working full time. It was always fast, quick, convenient, whatever I could get. Six years ago, Michael took control of his weight and had lap band surgery. Then four years ago, he got married and two years later started trying to have kids. Doctors told him to really watch the fat in his diet. They've encouraged, you know, increased exercise, um, increased fruits and vegetables, um, high protein but lean protein. Researchers at Dartmouth Medical School asked 99 men about their diets, then analyzed their sperm samples over four years and found that men who consumed the most saturated fats had 35% lower sperm count. Dr. Samuel Chantillis is Michael and Tiffany's fertility expert. He believes there is a connection between diet and fertility. There's an enzyme in fatty tissue that converts testosterone to estrogen and uh, that does have a deleterious effect on, on sperm production. So. Michael went through a period of working a lot of long, stressful hours at work, and of course that led to a lot of nights at the drive-thru. Hi, may I help you? Yeah, we'll have two orders of large fries, please. And of course that led to a sperm count going down. To almost zero, Michael and Tiffany blame stress as much as fatty foods. And even when you try and make a healthy choice, when you go out to a restaurant, there's calories that sneak in that you just don't know are there. Michael got through that stress-induced fast food streak and now runs half marathons. His sperm count is better and so are their odds of becoming parents. Perry Carpenter, CW33 News.